hydraulic hoses right here. I'm just removing them right now. Once I get this, I got one side out already. You just basically, when you take these off, you wanna make sure these clamps aren't in place. Those clamps, when you lock them in the lock position, you gotta release them so there's no pressure in there. Because if it's locked in the lock position, there's gonna be pressure coming out of here. So just release it. You know, let it, give it a little play in there, release it. And then you could loosen up these holes. But, you know, remember to put towel under there because there's gonna be oil leaking. I'm gonna take the last one out and I'm good to go. I might take that one out as well. Then I'll be good to go. If I take that one out, um, I'm gonna be prepared. I gotta be prepared because that's the oil reservoir right there at the top. When you loosen that, that's where you pour the oil, the transmission oil. So that's where the that's where it filters, you know, the filtration systems right there. And you know, it, it, it goes through all these hoses. Any hose that's connected to this square, you know, it's just gonna so it's going through all these hoses. And these all these hoses lead to the pump. And the pump, you know, it leads to the tire. The left pump leads to the left tire, and that's a pump as well. And the right pump leads to the right tire. There's a pump over there as well. So it's just a matter about you know knowing what, what is what and seeing the diagram, and you understand it. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish up here and we'll be good. So there goes the hoses for you right there. They have I think the part numbers right here on the oh my god on the silver. Oh shit, my face, got oil on my face. This is the part number for one of them, PL6002. Wait, 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 and that is true. PL6002 for one, and the other one should be PL600, PL6003. New hoses, old hoses, look at that. Okay, so I got the new hoses on. Um, when the first time I put the tire on, this one right here, the female elbow right here, was turned this way. So when I put the tire back on, all of this was touching the tire. And so the tire wouldn't have been able to move if I would've started it. It would've just destroyed, messed up everything. So to fix that, how that happened was when I went to go loosen it, Put the original hoses on over there. I'm going to go loosen it. I'm loosening it. I'm loosening it. Ah. Grabbing it. Ah. Grabbing it. And as I'm turning it, the whole the whole female starts to turn with it as I'm turning it. And I'm like, oh shit. So then this right here in this position position is more here. So you know it was it came out to here instead of where it is right there. So I had to take the tire back off and grab the female, the top of it, uh, diagonally, and then rotate it. And now it's back in this position, so it's definitely clearance here. Definitely clearance. So, now I'm gonna purge it. I cleaned it, everything is clean, so now we're gonna see if it leaks. Here. And here is the, where you pour the oil. I just want to show you if you're able to see it, if you can focus on. But in there, where's the camera? In there, you see something. You see the bottom and then you see a bar going horizontally like this. You see a bar going like that, then you see the floor. So before, when I first opened this, there was oil in it. When I took those hoses off, I just opened it just now, and look, there's no oil in it. You see metal in there. See that? You see the bottom? It just keeps getting blurry. But whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to put some oil. I bought this right here. 15W50. Well, it definitely runs, man. I gotta reinforce this thing. I gotta put a, I gotta lay a flywood, drill some holes in the flywood, zip tie it to the frame. Get some big thick zip ties, just like what I did here. 
See that license plate? See that license plate? I just zip tied it. You see how the license plate's on the other side? Now imagine that being a piece of wood and on top of this, 5x8 wood, plywood.